Hi, this is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn to Business and your LinkedIn Answers. So I recently had someone ask me, what happened to Pulse? How can I find my channels? Let me show you what I call my Pulse hack. So if you haven't been there recently, if you go down to Interests and Pulse, instead of bringing you to the Discover page, which allowed you to choose people to follow, that allowed you to choose channels to research, it just takes you to basically your top posts. Um, so what you need to do is, first of all, come over here to where the three little lines are. That's going to create kind of a thumbnail of the old Discover page. And then come down here to Discover More. And now you'll recognize the page that we used to have that allows you to follow influencers or channels of information, etc. Now, the hack is in saving that particular file. It seems kind of like a no-brainer, but it took me a while to, f to figure it out for myself. So what I do is I've actually created a folder in Chrome, but of course you can create favorites folders in Safari or Internet Explorer or Mozilla Foxfire as well. And I've gone ahead and created a link to my author page. So that takes me to posts I myself have written as well as the uh, Discover page, which by the way, if you don't even want to look for it, if you just type in www.linkedin.com forward slash pulse forward slash discover, it will take you there. Also, um, I've popped in professional women channel, as you can see here, productivity channel. And one little tip again, when you go to uh, the particular channels on LinkedIn, so let's just go find another channel, and you save that link, the, the URL will be correct, but the name that you save it under will be the, the last post. So if I come down here and decide, um, I'm interested in customer experience, you can see that it goes, okay, linkedin.com forward slash pulse forward slash channel forward slash customer dash experience. So you would think when I went to save that into, in my case, Chrome, that that's what it would say, but it doesn't. It, it actually pulls up the last title. So all you'll need to do is, however you do it in your particular browser, all you're going to have to do is click on, in my case, editor, and then I'm just going to change the name to customer experience. There we go. And then I'll come down here and I'll just pop that up a little bit higher. Again, I use Chrome, so it'll be different for you if you use Mozilla Foxfire, Internet Explorer, or Safari. Um, but you'll notice once you go in there, it will actually pull up to the actual channel. See productivity there, not how to work faster as the case may be. So that is my little pulse hack. I hope it's useful to you. Again, this is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn to Business with your LinkedIn answers.